Hi everyone, Jangelio here. So in this video, I would like to show a tutorial on how to build a simple part scanner in Go, Go, Golang, however you prefer. So for those who don't know what a part scanner is, basically it's like a map software, so you can scan for parts. For example, I'm gonna scan local hosts uh, until seven dot zero dot one. So this is the IP address for localhost, and there you go, uh, there is the parts are open, I have a nginx server on port 80, um, IPP service uh, Postgres on 5432, and uh, Tor sockets on the 9050 port. So that's what we're going to build in Go, using only uh, standard library. And yeah, we're going to be focusing on only TCP ports, okay? So the first thing we need to do is create a main.go uh, file. That will be package main and then main. Uh, well, let's uh, initialize go module. So go mod init, so let's say port scanner. And then go mod tidy. Okay, <clears throat> so we got uh, our module initialized. So the first thing we need to do is to find a IP address we want to scan. So uh, target IP that would be one two. 7.0.1.0.0.1 Okay, so yeah, we're going to be using that. And uh, we're going to iterate to some ports so we can change that later. Uh, start ports. Let's say we want to start with uh, 800 and then scan it to. Uh, that's port uh, 100. And uh, what else we need? Um, yeah. So we're going to create a function that we're going to use as a multi threaded uh, uh, call. So that will be func scan port it will take the ip address and the port uh, both as string parameters and it won't return anything it will be a void function and um, yeah so the first thing we need to do i believe uh, of course we're going to be needing some uh, with groups for synchronization, but we can uh, worry about that uh, later. So the first thing we need to do is uh, concatenate these two in the... Actually, this will be a string and then port is actually an int. So we need to concatenate uh, the IP address plus uh, two dots, that's how I specify the port. And then we use string conv dot, I think, uh, integer, integer to argument. And then we take the port, so this is the address. And then we'll try to connect with the net dot com. And uh, I think it returns an error. This argument that that interface is not from net connect listener style. 
network. Yeah, that's what we want. Uh, it takes as an argument the network that we want and the address. Dial returns an error and a dot net.com. So what we want is TCP and the address is the address. Uh, a seven mismatch. Uh, okay, let's ignore its return. So, uh, basically, if error is not equal to nil, then it means the port is closed. So, uh, Format dot uh, print line. Actually, we need a printf here. So port is closed, and then we pass in the port. Else, um, format. Uh, I'm gonna just copy this from here. Port is open, and uh, yeah. After that, we can we need to defer. Uh, actually, this will return a connection, and we need to close this connection. So defer at close. Yeah. So just put on the connection handler, and then after we're done analyzing, we close it. Okay, so this is our function that we need to start as a go routine and then scan port by port. Then afterwards we can iterate through like say a multiple IP address ranges and so on, but we will keep it simple so we can uh, extend its functionalities later so what we do here is for port equal to start port port less than the last port ports plus plus and then we iterate is complaining expected boolean range Uh, yeah so we start the go routine go uh, scan ports and then we pass the target IP address and then the port so we start here a go routine and then the, ideally we will you will need to add uh, some weight groups here, but for now, just like uh, time dot sleep, uh, time dot second, and I think we're good to go. I was wondering if we could like pass a timeout here. No, oh, well, never mind. So, yeah, I'll switch to the terminal here. So, go run main.go and port 81 is closed, port 80 is open. Runtime invalid, memory access or new point dereference. Main.go 20. What is the issue here? Just try comment here.
Just go like this and then... Yeah, I think we don't need to close the connection, so let's expect port 80 uh, is open. And... Uh, dot net, net dot this drive on... on uh, is an string oriented network connection. Multiple routines may invoke methods and come simultaneously. Well, uh, let's say three dots and second. Yeah, so let's expect uh, part eight is open because we are running nginx server on that. And here, okay, so we'll need a weight group bar sync dot weight sync dot I think it's a sync package. Channel No, it's Import sync Then it will be sync dot It was supposed to show up here. What's not the sync package? Basic sequence exclusion locks. Weight group. Why is it not showing up? Sync dot ah here it is or wg sync dot weight group so here yeah, what we need to do instead of using that because that's the incorrect way for weight so we wait for algo routines to sync up here we add one and then we start the go routine and it's good that we pass uh, weight group here uh, by reference, so it will be a sync dot weight group, and here we pass the reference to the weight group, and then here we call wg dot done, and here we need to call a uh, differ wg dot done. Okay, so that's covered with that we sync. And uh, mm, something is off here. Go scan wg.1. I pass the reference defer. Let's try. Comment that. Nope. WG dot so let's create that as a reference and then we pass like that. Let's put it on top. Yep, yeah, no. Wait, 
group means that's 32. Uh, here we need to, it's actually uh, with here. And then we run, okay, so. Uh, comments that and then but that's, that's complaining if you're calling the first shouldn't make a difference here wait group Decrement so we counter by one once we are done. Let's try it like this and uh, yeah, that was the issue. So yeah, we corrected the scan and uh, well, let's try like uh, all ports. So the max port is six five five three five, and this at least this one. Then we can check. Uh, I just comment this one out here. I think it's good that we return here, so we don't continue execution. So yeah, let's try it out. Yeah, as expected, we got the uh, port 880 and then 631. Here we got some other uh, Postgres containers I'm running and then 9050 port, which is the, the Postgres, I believe. No, actually, sorry, it's, it's, it's the Tor socket part. So there's something odd here. Yeah, we never close that connection. I think we can do something like this. And then here we don't need that else. And then simply print that port is open. So if everything is equal to new, it means the port is closed and then return. And we probably should call defer connection dot close after here so let's try it out which we're getting you're getting to a dead block it seems so I guess we should call come dot close Actually, we need to call this uh, over here at the top. Yeah, that was the issue. So we got our uh, port scanner working pretty much like an map. Let's run an map again on localhost, and uh, we get pretty similar results. Like uh, an map didn't detect this other parts here, which are Docker containers with Postgres, but. The other ones uh, matched IP HTTP and GNX server and IPP uh, 631 and uh, Tor sockets. So that's it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. See ya.